Owasso police releasing multiple videos late today showing some of what happened the day before 16 year old Nex Benedict's death. Good evening, I'm Evan Onstock. I'm Jessica Shambach. The non-binary student died one day after a fight at school. KOCO Zach Rell has been digging through this new video for us tonight. And Zach, what are you learning? Yeah, Jess, Evan, that's right. This first video is a 20 minute long body camera video from the school resource officer talking with Nex and their mom after Nex was taken to the hospital. We will also see security camera video from inside the school and another video which includes the 911 phone calls that Nex's mom made the day they died. Next, Benedict was non-binary, meaning that they didn't identify exclusively as male or female, and we are using they them pronouns for next, but in parts of the video that were released today, you will see the use of she her pronouns. We also want to warn you that parts of this video may be disturbing. Hey, stranger. Hey, oh, Mr. Thompson. Hey. I'm Al Alf Thompson. We spoke Hi. on the phone the other yes. day. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. So what happened today? I got jumped. This is some of the last video showing 16-year-old Next Benedict alive. A school resource officer goes to the hospital to interview Next and their mom, Sue Benedict. She told me, she said, Mom, she said the three girls there are just, they, they won't leave me alone. They're making comments. They're, yeah, they're, they're calling us names. They're throwing stuff at us. Next says they didn't know the other girls who are a grade younger than them. The students meeting while in in-school suspension. So they just up and decided to just start messing with you. There was there yeah, is, because of the way that we dress. OK, so you didn't do anything at all at any point in time that would have uh, even a couple days ago or even a month ago or, or anything like that. I don't know these girls. Next goes on to explain what happened leading up to the altercation in the bathroom. After we stacked chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom okay. and I was talking with my friends. They were talking with their friends and we were laughing and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them okay. and then all three of them came at me. In security camera video from the cafeteria, you can see the group of girls stacking chairs like Nex said. One group then goes into the bathroom as seen in the upper right hand corner of the video. Nex and their friends are seen gathering around the water fountain before entering the bathroom. They came at me, they grabbed out of my hair, I grabbed on them, uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser and then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground and started being me. Okay. okay. And then my friends tried to jump in and help, but I'm, I'm not sure I blacked out. Just 20 seconds later, a school employee is seen entering the bathroom and eventually everyone exits. In this video, you can see an SRO escorting Nex from the school nurse's office to the principal's office. Nex is then seen leaving the school with their mom, who took Nex to the hospital. The fact that she re threw that water, uh -huh. it kind of, it kind of, yeah. Kind of puts her. Even not though she didn't put hands on. Them. It's still salt and batter. It's it's salt. The, the the water. After a conversation with the officer, Nex's mom declines to press assault charges. Shortly after, the officer says goodbye to Nex and their mom. Hopefully, I see you around school and class and wandering the halls and all that good stuff. Yes. You can smile you and wave and say, "Hey, Thompson," and you know all that good stuff. So. <laughs> but less than 24 hours later. And I need to get someone an ambulance here quick, please. Okay, what's My daughter, on? I don't know what's going around wrong. She's posturing and her hand. Nex's mom calls 911 from their home after they become unconscious. She's breathing in, but then she, her eyes are, they open, but she's doing like a, huh, 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 you know, like a really quick and her hands are posturing already. They're, they're rolling in like, like, I don't know if it's from her head injury because the girls that beat her up knocked her to the ground and she hit and they were they she hit her head on the bathroom floor and um when the, when i got there the school was like I, I think you might need to take her to the hospital and i'm like okay and she kept saying she had a headache paramedics arrive at the house and transport next to a tulsa hospital where they're pronounced dead Still obviously a lot of unanswered questions here. Nex's mom did mention that Nex takes medication for anxiety and mood swings, but did not take any the day that Nex died, only the night before. And we are still waiting on the toxicology report from the medical examiner.